Welcome to Good Data. In this video, we'll focus on Good Data Cloud Native. Hello, I'm Martin from Good Data, and today I will show you how you can connect your data to gooddata.cn, the ultimate headless BI engine. In the last video, we have went through the installation of a gooddata.cn community edition, which you can see just by clicking the link above. So let's log into my gooddata.cn instance running in Docker in my local host. And the first thing that you will see is that there is no workspace. Workspace is basically uh, like a subtenant environment or endpoint, which you'll need to create. And this is where your analytical objects, such as dashboard, insights, the data models will sit. So let's start with creating the workspace called demo. And the first thing that you will be given as an option is to connect data. So let's click on it. It will also offer you the option to connect the sample Postgres uh, data that comes as a part of the, of the Community Edition Docker image and are pre-installed in there, but we will skip this for now. And right now you can see that uh, there is an empty dialog, there is no option to connect any data because there are no data sources registered in the gooddata.cn. So let's do it. For this, you have uh, uh, various options how to do it, but all of them go through uh, utilizing our API and registering the data source through the API. So for example, the two options that I will show you is through how to do it through the Postman application that can uh, send the, you know, the REST requests into the given endpoints. And the second option that I will show you is how to do it through the Visual Studio Code REST plugin. So let's jump into it. So the first way that I will show is to registering the data source, the sample Postgres database in, uh, as I said, it's in the, in the same, uh, same Docker as your gooddata.cn. And I will be doing this through sending the request through what's called Postman application. I will leave you a link down below to, to Postman website, to some uh, getting started manuals, how to set up your collections, how to set up your requests, or how to read the open API definitions, for example. But for the demo purpose, I have already created my first uh, workspace and I can start building the request. So for this, we will need the post request because what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be sending the JSON definition of the data source connection. So what we'll need to do, we'll go to the localhost gooddata.cn API and that's the API slash entity slash data sources. What we will then need to do is to add there two headers. The first one is going to be content type. And the value is application slash vnd dot good data dot API plus JSON. And the second one is authorization. And for this purpose, we will be using the uh, generic bear token that's, uh, that's available for the community edition for an easy access. And in order to get the bear token, what we will do is that we'll switch back to the browser and we will go to our documentation. So type gooddata.com slash developers. <coughs> and we will go to docs and APIs. We'll go to getting started. And there is a third bullet called connect data. This description also show you how you can connect and register your data source through the curl application in the terminal. It also describes the structure of a sample Postgres data sitting in the, uh, in the same Docker, as I said. And so scroll down to connect your own database. And there is a, a body of a, of a curl request, curl command here. So what we'll take from here is that bear token in here. So copy it out, go back to Postman, add it to the authorization header value. And this is it. So the last thing that we'll need to do is to go to body. And then we can either link the uh, JSON file directly or we can insert the body of a request into, uh, into the request. So for this, what we will do, again, we will switch to the browser and we will copy here the whole request body that you can see here.
All right, go back to Postman, paste the request here, and this is it. What this will do is that this will register the uh, Postgres database that is sitting in your localhost on port 5432. It will request the database schema demo and the generic credentials are demo user and demo pass. So when we hit send, we should get 201. So the data source has been created and connected. So now when we go back to the browser and go back to your good data.cn and you click refresh, this should give us one more time the dialog. And what you can see here is that the new data source has been created and you can start building your semantic model on the top of it. About the semantic model, we will talk in one of the, uh, one of the next videos. But now let me show you how you can do uh, the same thing just by using the Visual Studio Code plugins. So for this, what we will need to do is to first download the extension called REST. Just to show you, REST client is the extension that I'm using for this. And what is this extension doing is that it allows you as a users to uh, build your what's called HTTP files and basically being sending the request directly from the Visual Studio code. For this, I have already prepared a few uh, sample requests. So just to, just to demonstrate what I was just doing by Postman, what I can also do is just by this part in here, that would be creating the Postgres uh, data source um, that would be referencing the same uh, sample database, again, as I'm saying, sitting in the same Docker image. And this is referring to the JSON definition file, which sits in my repository. And this is basically the same content that I was using as a body request in the Postman. So if I would hit send request now, it would give me uh, an error because I have already created the data source uh, with the same connection and with the same name. So what I'm going to do first is that by delete request, I will uh, delete all the existing data sources. And in this moment, I'm deleting the demo DS, which is the ID of the data source that I have created before. So let me send the request here. <clears throat> I get 204. So if I switch back into the good data.cn and I refresh, I'll get the same page that I had there before because all of a sudden I don't have any data source connected. So let's get back to, uh, let's get back to Visual Studio Code. And I will uh, hit the send request on post that will register the Postgres connection. So when I hit send, I'll get 201. And once again, switching back to my browser, I'll get the create model option. And I'll see here the Postgres data, data source. So what I can also do, <clears throat> is to register more data sources because the there is no limitation of how many uh, data sources you can have connected. So for example, uh, what I can do here is that I can register the data source from Snowflake. The full list of supported data sources you can find in our uh, documentation. You can also find the description how to connect them, how to start using them, what are the, uh, what are the performance specification and so on. But long story short, the supported data sources at the moment are Snowflake, uh, Amazon Redshift, the Postgres, Vertica, and the Google BigQuery. So in this case, what I will be doing is again, sending this uh, post request to register my Snowflake database connection. So let me send the request again. I, I get 201. And then when I switch back to my good data.cn and I refresh, I'll now be given the options to start building the semantic model on the top of any of those currently registered data sources. And as I said, uh, follow us to see how the semantic models are built and more uh, tutorials and how-to videos, because how to build a semantic model we will for sure will cover in one of the next following videos. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.